I come you once again to the, this channel because the Lord has a word for you. The Bible says, Jesus said that, be careful of what you hear because what you hear will become part of you. What you hear mattered in this kingdom because every word that comes, Jesus said that the word that I speak to you, they are spirit, they are life. So the word that always come to the children of God is what I carry life and spirit. Every other word we carry dead, but every word that come from Jesus, that come from the throne of grace and the throne of God, that we always come with life. Jesus said that this word come with life and spirit. And no wonder the Bible said, Paul said in his word, he said, the letter kill it, but the spirit give life. In the time you come to the hearing of the word, open your heart, just like what he Hebrews say, as you hear the word of the Lord, do not harden your heart. Open yourself to the word of the Lord. And the transformation will occur as you open your heart to God. And I want you to sit back as you listen to the message of the Lord from his servant. God bless you. The ministry of the word, how to be built by the word. Let me tell you this. There, there are three dimensions as far as being built by the word is concerned. Just because you have access to the word does not mean it will build you. No. There are many people who are reading scriptures. There are many people who have access to the word, but they do not know how to be built by it. In Acts chapter 20 and verse 32, the Bible says, And now brethren, it says, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. The Bible says that it is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified it is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified it first builds you then it gives to you are we together in acts chapter 6 and verse 4 still the early church when there was problem between the Grecian women over tables, the apostle said, get 12 people and we'll ordain them and allow them to handle the matters of welfare. But we will give ourselves continually, the Bible says, to prayer and to the ministry of the word. We will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. I have found out, listen, and by the grace of God, I have studied my Bible and I have studied I. I like to study many of the generals who have joined the cloud of witnesses. For some reason, I have come to a point to trust the purity of their experiences because they produce dramatic levels of results from their spiritual experiences. And I've been able to distill three dimensions of your encounter with the word of God in order to build you. Number one is the study of scripture. You want to be built by the word, you must study scripture. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God. It didn't say wish, it didn't say read, it says study. There is a difference between study and reading. The purpose of reading is awareness. The purpose of study is understanding. There is a difference. It will take more than awareness of scripture to be a giant in the spirit you must study scripture so that is the first way to be built by the word you must study scripture number two you must listen to scripture they are not the same the study of scripture and listening to scripture are not the same let me tell you according to the bible the work of the believer is dependent on your eyes and your ears and your mouth there are components in a believer that must participate in your growth many times you will hear the bible say faith comes by hearing it was not a mistake he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit say yet to the churches if your ears are not participating in your word encounter i submit to you you cannot be built by the word please try to believe that i'm not deceiving you there are many people who study scripture but they are still not able to be built by the word holistically because they have ignored it i hope you know that before the study of scripture became a possibility it was first hearing holy men wrote before they wrote they had and they saw to write are we together now 
that model has not changed jesus spent time speaking to them in fact in the parable of the sower watch this the bible lists four kinds of soils and it says the seed is the word of god it says the seed that fell on good ground are those that heard the word they heard the word they received it they acted upon it and even though they had it they still produced three levels of results 30 fold 60 fold and a hundred fold if you are together if we are together say amen. amen you must study scripture if you want to be built by the word number two you must listen listen to scripture and scripture related resources like teachings scripture and scripture related resources i have in my phone here um an mp3 of everything jesus said in the bible from genesis to revelation everything the bible records that jesus said was distilled and sometimes that's all i listen to i want to hear the very words that the bible says from jesus and something happens miraculously it happens to your spirit man listen this is one of the ways that God trained us. When we began with God listening, those days people would put their cassette. It was, it was a model. Many people have compromised on it now. You would almost see believers like mad people because once they were moving, they, they always had their earphones listening to something. A worship to usher you, very strong worship and then maybe a message and then maybe a teaching you would almost know that this is a believer's room because there will be a sermon playing while they are cooking a sermon playing now we have ignored the place of hearing and that's the reason why the faith dimension it takes to work mighty things is no longer there i submit to you you just hear the word allow it sink into your mind you don't just hear for memory you hear to transport it into your subconscious mind are we together yes hearing sometimes you can fall asleep while you are hearing and in the realm of the spirit the hearing continues and your consciousness is being trained now when you wake up you can be having a vision while you are awake and understand the dynamics because something was quickened in your spirit if you can be sleeping and yet still participate how much more when you are awake now god can speak to you as a preacher you can be standing here and you can be caught up in the spirit and your organs of interacting with that realm of possibility has been trained by hearing have you listened to a message before and then you fall asleep and the message is still playing and sometimes it now becomes graphic you are now acting out that message you may wake up under an intense manifestation of god's power i remember those days we, I used to listen to the entire 12 hour CDs of Charles and Francis Hunter, how to heal the sick. I would sleep and I would, it would play again and again and again. You put it on repeat until the battery runs down. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you at age 12 he went to the temple he was asking questions and listening and when satan came to him at age 30 he said it is written it is written it is written there's a man called dr nasir sadiki many of you may have heard about him and he had a a case i think it's called shingles or so years ago and he was diagnosed with an acute case it was a terrible case had brought out boils and swellings in his body and he was left for dead they had told him the doctors had concluded do your best it may not work and he made up his mind as a project with his wife that he was going to listen to scripture as he was taking drugs the same way they say take um, panadol you know two in the morning two in the afternoon that was how he was listening to scriptures for two years non-stop and that devil dried up and left him till today he's still serving the purposes of God you see I told you that results are preachers there is a sermon only results can preach and when you see people who have gone through the valley of the shadow of death and have come out victorious it is arrogance to argue with them are we together I know what the Word of God can do to a man I give you this as a project 
submit yourself to hearing scripture gather relevant teachings gather relevant materials especially the bible on tape or mp3 is free it's online go and get it and you listen to it it may not be easy for you to read the 66 books but you can hear the 66 books you can hear a chapter in 20 minutes and repeat it again in one hour you have had that chapter you will think nothing is happening until the day adversity strikes scriptures will shoot out of you like weapons it's true please listen to what i'm telling you most people are not built by the word because number one we do not study the word number two we do not listen to the word and then number three we do not speak the word that is the third level of being built by the word the confession of the believer according to scripture is a very powerful thing the confession of a believer the confession of a believer listen ladies and gentlemen you have to learn this the confession of the believer the bible says let the redeemed of the lord say so is that in your bible let the redeemed of the lord say so let the redeemed of the lord say so let the redeemed let the healed of the lord say so many people are not given to the confession of scripture and if you do not confess scripture let me tell you the truth there are many prophetic realities that may never happen in your life the bible says he have not because he has not and then part of asking is not just to say give me your faith declarations in the name of jesus i decree and declare the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i be afraid of in the name of jesus the lord is the strength of my life i declare that a thousand shall fall by my side ten thousand by my right side none shall hurt me with my eyes shall i see and i behold the reward of the wicked are we together the declaration of scripture I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord is at work in my life. I decree and declare, I am like my own Zion that cannot be shaken, but I abide forever. Do not make anybody make you believe that is just childish Christianity. Many have negated this to the detriment of their life. Confession is so powerful, Jesus calls himself the word, the logos of God. And I will not be silent, I will always Listen, I want you to make it a culture to not just pray, but know how the saints are built by the word. I will repeat it for you one more time. The study of scripture, the hearing of scripture and word related resources and then number three my goodness my god the speaking of the word like the king that you are he says where the word of a king is there is power in the name of jesus there is no death and dryness around my life i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit i am a burning and a shining light i go ever brighter even unto the perfect day you are putting your towel to go and bath you may not have had the time to study scripture listen if you are not growing in scripture it means you are lazy because at any given point you can do one of these three if you don't have the time to study you can have the time to hear if you don't have the time to hear you can have the time to speak there is no excuse to not be built by the word most people do not understand this tripartite approach that is the reason why they say i don't have time to study scripture so my word life goes down it's a lie all three should work together don't choose one don't say me i just confess uh -uh. you must study to have understanding you must hear to build your faith you must speak to release your faith to create those possibilities this is what the bible teaches this is what the fathers did i remember those days i used to read tl osborne's book and you want to get his book on soul winning and healing the sick a, a timeless eternal classic 
there is a group of, of uh, I think groups of faith confessions that he wrote just joining scriptures to scripture are we together the favor of the Lord is upon me in the name of Jesus Christ Gentiles come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my, their, my rising koinonia goes from glory to glory no decline for the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light the realm of the spirit is bearing witness to your responsibility of confession someone open your mouth in one minute and begin to make faith declarations even if it's only one scripture you have make that declaration in the name of jesus when men say there is a casting down i declare that for me there will be a lifting up is someone praying the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures the bible says he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness, even for his name's sake. Someone is praying. Make that declaration. It's a faith declaration. You are making that declaration by the power of the Holy Spirit. Shanda brakete pareto skia tapalados, krata baka fraska di la parus ke zivrende ke pareto skia ta, ekrata parato skia ta le kato skia te. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Let me show you a scripture. I think that should be Isaiah eight twenty. Give it to us. Never forget this scripture for the rest of your life. I want us to read it together. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. Everybody, please read. One to read. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. That means there is a way you speak as proof that light has entered you. That if we find you speaking not according to this word, the diagnosis is that there is no light in you. That means those who are the light, there is a way you speak, not just a way you study. I will never speak anything negative about my life. I don't care what the situation is. In the name of Jesus, I know while I look at the things that are, I look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. The Bible says the things that are seen are temporal and the things that are unseen are eternal do you believe this walking in abundance moving with the speed of the holy ghost i am favored that i am walking in abundance moving with the speed of the holy ghost i am favored I am walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am famous. This is what I believe. Before Jesus died, he confessed that he would die and he would come back to life. If he did not speak, he would have been surprised. He would remain in that grave. It was that word that guaranteed his coming back. What have you said about your destiny? You have empowered the forces of darkness because even Satan depends on the word of God to operate. Satan has to hear what God has said to know what to do to believers. Again, I declare, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, my hands are blessed. My life is a compendium of infinite possibilities. In the name of Jesus, this ministry goes from glory to glory, serving the purposes of the kingdom in power and in grace. Prosperity is my portion. The favor of God is at work in me. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. speed of the Holy Ghost I am favored 
was in the belly of the fish every other thing failed it was his words that brought him out in the belly of the fish no hope Jonah said every other thing I, I can't use my hand to fight the fish I can't use my brain to think my way out the only thing available that can bring me out is my speaking and that fish vomited him and the Bible said it was God that caused the fish to swallow him and Jonah used his word and came out of that situation to the point that Jesus used the testimony of Jonah as an adumbration of his death that means the same way it was the word that brought Jonah out Jesus made a declaration before he entered the belly of the earth and after three days he rose again the angels did not come because they wanted to come the angels are only mandated to respond to the word of God if there was no word in that equation the angels would not have a ministry can I tell you many people talk about angels you don't tell angels go and walk that's not how you instruct them you the, the ministry of the angels is activated by speaking the word the moment the proceeding word comes they have an assignment let me show you something can, can i show you something revelations 1 verse 1 i like us to read it together one to read the revelation of jesus christ which God gave him to show to his servants which things must come to pass. Notice the revelation was what was given. And the Bible says he sent that revelation and signified it by his angel. The angels respond to revelations. So as I begin to speak in the name of Jesus, my tomorrow is great. Angels like the Holy Spirit have the power to go into your tomorrow. They are not limited by time and space. They can go there as ushers doing the bidding of the saints. I really believe this. When I begin my year, I call every month by name and I give it a name. I prophesy upon it. This week, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy. You are a week that delivers favor. My life is all about the purposes of the kingdom. I go about doing good, healing all day that are oppressed because God is with me. The anointing of the Spirit is at work in me. I believe in God's ability at work in me. You speak like this and watch how inferiority, complex, all of these things that came from our backgrounds, was it not words that programmed you into that state? They told you you would not become anything. They looked at you and said you are stupid. You are the black sheep or whatever kind of sheep. They, they look for a deformity around your life and name you. I like the man called Jabez. The mother used her mouth and programmed danger. Because of her pain, she called him Jabez. But that scripture starts with the end of his story. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. When you cannot use your hand, when you cannot use your brain, when you cannot use your feet, use your mouth. That every other thing can fail. I'm no longer slave to fear. I am a child. I'm no longer slave to fear. I am a child of God. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with, with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Zaria, hear me. Do not call yourself what God did not call you. He did not call you a failure. He did not call you weak. Man of God, he never told you you will fail. Your lowly estate may speak to you, but respond with the spoken word. Don't just study it, speak it. That in the name of Jesus, my generation will celebrate the hand of God upon my life. I may not look like it, 
but the mighty hand of God is upon me his word is as work in my spirit there is no limit to what I'm able to do I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me hallelujah you do not need money in your bank to speak you do not need money in your pocket to speak you do not need a big house to speak you do not need a mic to speak you need understanding let this become your culture as you are trained to study the word to listen to the word and to speak the word i give you a guarantee obtain grace to live like this and watch what your life becomes it will look like you held a charm the beauty and the glory of god that begins to emanate you are not the first to stay in one room we all stay there you are not the first to whatever it is time will fail me to talk of gideon jephthah barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness shut the mouth of lions women who receive their dead back to life maybe there's someone outside maybe there's someone scattered across following online across the globe can i speak to you do not allow anything bring you down for as long as you are able to speak let god be true and every man a liar do you believe this this is how to train believers to be masters over life so next time you see things not going your way humanly speaking you may feel that grief and you may lament but always remember who you are when you are done with all that lamentation and sympathy you wear your priestly regalia and you lock up yourself and say i know better than this i have been trained you open your bible under an intense atmosphere of worship and let that worship be playing while you are studying and the spirit of grace will now unlock the skill you see opening the book is your responsibility but unlocking the seal is his responsibility you don't have the power the book must be both opened and the seal unlocked for you to see opening the book is your responsibility but unlocking the seal then he will give you one rima word and with that word you stand up and from the lips of faith you begin to make declarations that don't make sense in the name of jesus i activate the ministry of my destiny helpers and whilst you are sitting someone who has forgotten you all of a sudden the book of remembrance is open is and it looks like it's just a a coincidence no we program possibilities in our lives based on the word let me give you the last one and then is someone learning No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to His work in me till Christ is formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to his work in me till Christ is formed in me. Paul said, my little children of whom I travail until Christ be formed in you. If you submit to the bidding of the Spirit, you will be surprised to see the kind of glory that will be revealed in you. The Bible says there are bodies celestial and there are bodies terrestrial. It says even among the stars, one differed from another in glory. You may not differ in size, but you can differ in glory. That glory that excels. Till the Christ is formed in me. Till your glory is revealed in me, your wisdom rests on me, your favor at work in me. So I submit to your work in me, till Christ be formed in me. Number three.
the third and the final charge for this time that we have to share together is the value of spiritual empowerment this is the last thing I want to talk about in our training and our equipping as we contend to lay hold on eternal life in experience I have given you three keys that represent irrefutable kingdom secrets they are ladders that transit men from realms of defeat and weakness that you become a tremendous person of capacity like the mighty men of David the power of a systemic prayer life then how to derive value from the word through your study your hearing your speaking if you have not subscribed to this channel do so to subscribe today and god will always be with you in jesus name amen